The police national teachers union is taking on a campaign that is scheduled to be launched in Benque Viejo del Carmen in the Cayo district with its main focus being the Belize Guatemala issue. The president of the Belize Teachers Union, Luke Palacio, entertained the media this afternoon where he explained that this undertaking is a part of the union's constitution aimed at becoming involved in national issues. The BNTU's constitution, uh, objective number nine, states that the BNTU is to project and maintain a proactive position on issues of national, regional, and international interest that will impact on the independence, sovereignty, social, economic, and political well-being of our people and nation. In that regard, the BNTU at its 46th annual convention held in Punta Gorda you know, at the end of March uh, passed a resolution as it relates to the matter of the Belize-Guatemala referendum. And so we believe that this is an issue of national importance and that the Belizean populace need to be educated, need to be sensitized on how we move forward. Our goal obviously is that we must ensure that every Belizean, man, woman, and child will understand the issues and will be prepared to stand up for Belize. Hence the name of our campaign is the Stand Up for Belize campaign. At Friday's launch at Mount Carmel High School, presentations will be made by former Foreign Minister Assad Schumann and Foreign Affairs Minister Wilfred Ellerington. According to Palacio, they are seeking to get the views of these gentlemen on the International Court of Justice in an effort to keep the teachers informed on the current status of the negotiations and discussions. Basically, what we are seeking as BNTU is for these bodies, these representatives, to indicate to us, of course, what uh, their position would be on the ICJ. We are not making, taking a vote on the ICJ at this point. But we also want to hear from them their views on that. We want to hear from them what their plans are in terms of ensuring that this particular issue, resolving the Belize-Guatemala referendum, will be above and beyond party politics. We are hoping that they will also make a commitment, or at least give an indication, as to what other activities they would be engaged in, in sensitizing the Belizean public as to the way forward in trying to bring about a peaceful resolution to this, this issue. The participation of all branches, teachers and members is anticipated at Friday's event as they have been given the directive to liaise with their branch presidents and executive members regarding transportation. We are bringing in the 10 branches of the BNTU from throughout the country of Belize uh, to, to Benke and then this campaign is intended to be a sustained campaign. So we um, then intend to move to the districts, uh, the, the branches that organize activities where again we will be able to sensitize the public in those respective uh, communities. It is our intention to bring in other parties that also have an interest and a concern as it relates to how we go about addressing this matter. We are also hoping that we can involve other civil society organizations, the other unions, so that again, the bottom line remains that we do not want anybody to believe that this issue must be left to any one group of people. It must not be left only up to the government, it must not be left only up to the opposition, it must not be left only to the BNTU, but the Belizean populace in general need to ensure that whatever actions and activities we want to engage in that will help to foster and bring about a peaceful solution to this Guatemala referendum um, is what we are, we are aiming for. With the expectation of the participation of countrywide membership, there is the indication that the Ministry of Education has given the go-ahead for schools to be closed for April 15th. President Palacio says he is glad that they have come to their senses. I must say that we are not only grateful, but we are happy that they have come to the, their senses, if you will, in the realization that this is not something that we are anti-government or the union just want to try and create a problem. 
this is a national issue and yes we're happy that they have realized and have collaborated in agreeing that it is a national issue that needs national attention national input and so yes and we are prepared if the ministry of education or the government or any other entity says we want the bntu to collaborate with us this is what we are talking about Invitations have also been extended to Prime Minister Dean Barrow and the opposition leader, John Brissanio. The event will be held under the theme, Stand Up for Belize. In today's press conference with the head of the Belize National Teachers Union, Luke Palacio, he spoke of the school's curriculum and the importance that the union will be placing in having other subjects incorporated. The Belize Guatemala issue is one of those subjects among others. We will be again trying to get all sides to agree that it is time that this matter be taught in our schools. We are hoping that if at any time soon we can, is to get the primary school curriculum to be revised to what it used to be in the past, where you had uh, instead of social studies covering all of those areas or aspects of our lives and our country, that we go back to teaching the civics of Belize, history of Belize, and the geography of Belize. Because unless our, pe because unless our people understand and realize what our country is, how it is made up, how it is governed, and all of these other things, we might have some difficulty in trying to get people to understand the need to stand up and defend this country. Palacio went on to say that the institutions need to begin capitalizing on the existence of historians in Belize and focusing on imparting knowledge to the students. He also spoke on the importance of other subjects he deems crucial for the students. Basically, they are historians, they are persons who are knowledgeable, and it is time for us to start to respect and make use of those, the knowledge that those individuals have in trying to carve out where we go. Uh, for instance, why we are insisting that we need to come back to teaching the geography of Belize, for instance, which was a separate subject in our primary school some years ago, is simply because when you would have spoken to somebody much older, and at that time we didn't have these, the technology we have today, and uh, particularly I could recall at the time of a hurricane, and the radio would be announcing that this hurricane is located so much longitude this way, latitude that way. The older persons would be able to tell you exactly where that hurricane is. Today, I guarantee you, we cannot, we cannot our younger people will not be able to do that unless they are seeing it on the TV. Um, we had this, the civics which taught us how we were governed. And so again, people would have, because there are people who still believe that our ministers are elected, all right? But we elect area representatives and then the prime minister appoints a minister. So things like those, I believe, if we can start to get our Belizean people and in our school system to get this um, clearly articulated. Uh, and uh, then, of course, in terms of the Belize Guatemala issue, we are hearing, for instance, the 1859 treaty. Guatemala doesn't recognize it. But Ambassador Schumann is saying that it is still there. So things like those, we need to try and ensure that this activity we are, we are launching on Friday will help to give us that united front, will help to give us that drive, that together we will try and address um, these, these issues. We keep hearing from, from our teachers that the children are asking the questions and they don't feel comfortable responding to them simply because there is there's not that plan in place, there is not the information for them to give to the students. And so we find this very important for us as educators to take the lead on. Palacio says that the union will lobby for these changes in the school's curriculum as part of their campaign. 